Hello, welcome back to Van Life 365, where we bring you along our travels from Florida to New York. <laughs> yes. I'm Kayla. Ideally, I'm Zach. Let's, Let's get, get into, into it. it. So we decided to come home for my stepmom's graduation. And we were quite far away. Yeah, we were in Florida, mm -hmm. and our hometown is in New York, upstate New York. Yeah. Basically Canada. Basically Canada. So we had quite a drive to get here. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to recap our drive and... All the special things we remember. Yeah. So, going out of it, we went to Florida, we went to Jekyll Island for a little bit. We talked about that in the last pod. Yes, if so you go got check to that to out. It. Yes. And then after that, we started going all the way up Georgia. Mm -hmm. And what is that one city at the top? Savannah. Savannah, Savannah Georgia. And we decided, oh, let's keep going. Yeah. <laughs> so we kept going and we got to the top of... South Carolina, Maryland, Virginia. <laughs> Even though we drove through all these states, we still don't no. know geography very well. I just don't know where in um, South Carolina we ended. So Georgia, Savannah, yeah, we got to... Where'd we stop? I have no idea. We stopped somewhere in South Carolina. The route we take we took was not very good. Mm -mm. Like we were driving through some rundown places that were not cute, no attractions or things to see. Yeah, like inland. Yeah, it was very odd. That's where Myrtle Beach is, South Carolina. Yeah, like I guess it's just like good for beaches. Yeah, like if I guess if you're on the coast, it's a fun time. Yeah. But if you're inland, inland, mm -hmm. it's not. Well, we wanted to too magical. Yeah, and we wanted to avoid all the major cities. Yeah. So, and all the major cities are like near coasts. Mm -hmm. So, we had to go in anyway. So we started making our way in. We went to north and no, we got into south. Yep. And got like halfway through it, and then we stopped at a loves. And then we went up to North Carolina and stopped at the Charlotte Welcome Center. I think then we just kept going. Yeah, we because, got to Virginia the same day. Yeah, we didn't want to stop in Charlotte because it's a city and maneuvering the RV in a city is Disgusting. difficult. And Charlotte is like a whole day event. Mm -hmm. So we didn't have time for that. So we just kept going through Virginia. And during this whole time, we were not telling my family. Yeah. So I turned off my Life360 and immediately my stepmom texted me. She's like, where are you guys? Like, what happened to your app? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm just going to have dad look at it when I get home. Because they thought we were coming, like, June 1st. Yeah. So we were surprising them 15 days early. So during all of this, we were telling them we were like down in Georgia when we were actually in Virginia. And it was a lot to keep up with. Yeah. Virginia. Let's talk about that. I think that mm -hmm. was the best state on the whole way up. Yeah. It was beautiful. It was very pretty. It the, was. What's it called? The National Park. Shenandoah. Yes. That mountain range, and we drove right alongside it on that whole that whole interstate. Yeah, it was so, beautiful. So we love Virginia, and the mountains were gorgeous. And I want to live near mountains, <laughs> some kind of water. And in Virginia, we went to a little coffee shop, cafe, breakfast place. The coffee was fine. The breakfast was very good. It was weird. Be on Google Maps, it showed like a coffee shop, but it was like yeah. it was basically coffee shop in a restaurant mm -hmm. so when we got there they sat us down like a restaurant and i'm like we just wanted coffee yeah like we just wanted to work <laughs> but we decided that you know what why not get breakfast mm -hmm. so and it was amazing yeah they had the best breakfast potatoes and yeah I more of those so bad <laughs> i loved my breakfast burger mm -hmm. i don't know why but i like them they're just good they are good. Like, breakfast burgers in general are good, but theirs is really good. <laughs> so, like, if we ever get inclined to make a breakfast burger for breakfast... You want to? That would be awesome. Okay. We ended up not getting any work done in there. And then next door, there were there was a little shop. And so we went in that, and it just kept going. It was a huge building, but mm -hmm. it did not look that big from the outside. And there was, like, a tea shop in there, and then a full gift shop. There was, like, a... a clothing store. There a, was, like... A tea time thing we could actually yeah. like sit down around a table of fine china mm -hmm. and someone would come serve like pour tea yeah it was in cute. your cup it was like an old person thing there was also a whole outdoor gear section mm -hmm. in the store like they had everything yeah and then they had a cat 
There was a cat in there was one a of cat. the clothing displays and it was so cute. Yeah, so they had like a cat in the store cute. and we went over to like, I think it was, it was like the... mittens or socks. I think it was socks. And it, it blended in. It was a gray male cat. Yep. And he was so cute. <laughs> and we, I was just petting him. That's what I did the whole time. Kayla mm -hmm. was walking around yeah. and looking at stuff. I was just petting this little cat. I also saw one recently at like, I think it's True Value where I got a front of propane this time. It scared the crap out of me. <laughs> it was just walking around. It's like a tool shop. Yeah. I was just walking around, a little gray cat, kind of like kiddo. Yeah. Exactly like him. I guess shop cats are coming more in common, which would be awesome. Mm hmm But that was the only pit stop we did in Virginia, I think. We had Starbucks. The bottom of Shenandoah, we went to this little town, which was honestly a valley. It yeah. was in the Shenandoah Valley, and mm -hmm. it was gorgeous because literally you... We got there in the morning, so it was cloudy, foggy, mm -hmm. and at Starbucks. So when we walked out, got in, fine, but I had to go out for something. Yeah, to check on the cats or something. Whatever. And I walk outside, and it's 360, it's mountains. Mm -hmm. Like, nothing else but mountain range. And it was gorgeous. Yeah. So, I love that place so much. And then the next stop was the breakfast burger. After Virginia, we had a long day. That's when we started, like, frick it. We're going. Mm -hmm. So, right out of Virginia, we hit a P Fitness, and then we went through Maryland, we went through PA. Pennsylvania? Did we do anything in Pennsylvania? We stopped in PA, that was a long one. We did stop in PA, I think. Or did we go right from there all the way I up? I think we might have. I think we might have too. We, th we were planning on stopping in yeah. Scranton, uh -huh. and then we're like, we can go a little bit more. So we were just going to stop in like... I think it was Port Jarvis or Jervis. It's like right on the New York and PA border. Yep. And then we're like, nah. Let's just keep going. We stopped at the stop we wanted to. We were gonna, the truck stop we were gonna stay at all night. Yeah, and we were gonna get there like a day or two later than we actually did because we were gonna take more stops, but. We literally, I backed into a place at yeah. a truck stop, a truck yard. Mm -hmm. And Keeler's like, I don't wanna do it. No, I was like, I need something else to do today. Like, all we did was drive from, like, 7 a.m. to, mm -hmm. like, 1. And then he was just going to work all day. I'm like, no, I need to, like, go on a walk and get some human interaction. And I was looking on Google for things to do. There were a couple parks, and they all had terrible reviews. And I'm like, okay, well, that's not going to work. So I was looking at, like, how far away we were from being home. And we were only, like, three hours from Albany. Or something like that. And we that. already drove four hours. Yeah, I'm like, Zach. I started at five that I'm, day. I was like, we could just go to Albany and go to the mall and go to Trader Joe's, go to Druthers, and... There was a Love's right outside of it. Yep. There's a Cracker Barrel right outside of it. And he was not really into that idea. I was like, you know what? <laughs> it's I understood it. I was tired from driving four hours already, mm -hmm. and I understood that it was only like nine or ten a.m. I don't know. I don't remember the time. It was that early. I left at 5 or 6 a.m. and I drove oh. for like four hours. Yeah, we got there. I was pulling it back and in. I got all parked and killer. And then we had the conversation and mm -hmm. I understood it. And I'm like, it's just three more hours. Yeah. You know, it's just three more. And it wasn't too, too late. Like, I feel like it was like four. I would definitely would have moved. Mm -hmm. But like, since it was so early, I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. You know? And so, we made our way to Albany. When we got to the mall in Albany, we were walking in, and Zach's like, what if we just go surprise them tonight? I'm yeah. like... Because Albany's only three hours from home. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's like, I just drove three hours. We probably won't be in Albany for, like, more than two hours. Mm -hmm. And then it will probably be six when we leave, or, like, 5 p.m. Yeah. When we leave, because, yeah, 10 to 1. Like five, yeah. So we would leave, like, Albany around 4 or 5. And I was like, I don't know about that. Because I had in my head, I'm going to walk into my dad's store and surprise him. And then he's like, okay, but what if he's busy with customers? Like, we could just walk in the house tonight and surprise them. And so he convinced me. So we went to the mall. We went to Barnes & Noble. I got another book. I did too. Yeah. And then we went to Trader Joe's. We got flowers for... All of our parents. Stacy, my mom, and then his mom. And we stocked up on some more fried rice. They were out of soup dumplings, which was so disappointing. But That's Kaylin's favorite. Yeah, I love them. I um, think they smell like armpits. <laughs> they don't smell the greatest, but they taste so good. They smell like armpits. And then we went to Druthers for 
just pretzels because the pretzels are heavenly. It was so funny too because they're like, you want anything to drink? And you're like, yeah, we'll have water. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, okay, can we get you started? We're like, yeah, we'll take some pretzels. And they're like, okay. And then they gave us the pretzels <laughs> and they're like, so do you want anything else for you? Know, like, do you want some food? Like, mm -hmm. what do you want to have to eat? And we're like, nothing. <laughs> the pretzels are fine. Yeah. So we just got pretzels. Yeah. And devoured them in like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, I think they weren't like expecting that. No, it was but funny though. It was funny. It the was pretzels the, were amazing. It was the quickest I've ever been in and out of a restaurant. Like we yeah. walked in, got the pretzels, ate them, and left. Yeah. And it's like a nice restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't like come to us to give us a check. Mm -hmm. So I ended up walking up to the counter and being yeah. like, here's my card. <laughs> like, I want to pay. Because at that point, we were also trying to rush so we could get home. We weren't rushing our eating, but like, I wasn't going to wait 10 to 15 minutes for them to give me my check when I could just ask. Yeah. But then after that, we made our way home and long we got drive. there around 9 o'clock. I feel like 8 that. I feel like the long. I don't I don't think it was that long. To no, come up it here. wasn't. It was like 7, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because we went to my mom's first, and my mom wasn't there, so we surprised Seth and my brother, mm -hmm. and my brother's reaction was so and cute. And they had dinner ready, so we actually ended up eating dinner with them. Yep. We were going to go to my mom's work and surprise her there, because she had to work late, and then she pulls up when we're about to leave. Yeah. And she, at that point, she saw the RV, she knew we're, we were there. And she's like, oh, hello. Like, mm -hmm. she didn't really have much of a reaction because she, like, yeah. had it when she pulled in. Then we went to my dad's. Yes. And surprised my sister and stepmom. My stepmom cried a little. And both of them were screaming the whole time. And then we went upstairs and surprised my dad. And he was playing games. Basically, his jaw just dropped. And he's like, what are you doing here? But then he kept playing his games. He just died. That's all he did. Yeah. He was on Fortnite, so he couldn't just pause it. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to see those reactions, they're on my short, my Instagram, mm -hmm. everything that I have. And then the day after, we went to go surprise my mom. Yep. So. And that was cute. Yep. That was our trip coming home. Mm-hmm. So I guess in another video, we'll talk about what we have done so far. Yeah. And what our plan is. Yeah. That'll be so. two separate things. What our plan is, and then... What everything we, we've been doing. What we're doing now. Yeah. And then we'll be caught up to be actual timeline. Yeah. Well, we hope you enjoyed. Mm -hmm. If you did, make sure you give us a like if you're on YouTube and subscribe. If you're on Spotify, give us a five star rating. All of our links are in the description. So make sure you check those out. We'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.